With the successful finale of Extraordinary Attorney Wu making big headlines, you may not have noticed some mistakes and hidden details that the creators of the show have put in the episodes. So let's check them out. Secret Behind the Revolving Door A recent post on a Korean blogging forum has opened up a whole new floodgate of interest for this drama. The post discusses how a key aspect in Extraordinary Attorney Wu's pilot episode already gave away some of the character dynamics that would later emerge in later episodes. And people are talking about the revolving door at the Hanbana building that made Woo Young Woo confused. She spun around and around attempting to find out how the door works because she couldn't understand how it operated. This happened several times and how the people around her reacted to her confusion predicted her relationship with all of them. The post first talks about Kwa Min Woo. He does nothing and leaves when he sees Young Woo struggling with the revolving door. Min Woo feels that Young Woo already has the upper hand in every situation and doesn't need his help. In following episodes, his feelings for Young Woo become increasingly bitter as he clings to the assumption that she's the more privileged one. Next comes Choi Soo-yeon. She tries to walk away like Minu after seeing young woo struggle, but her conscience makes her come back. She stops the revolving door from the outside and helps young woo get out. Even though she isn't someone who can accompany young woo in her struggles, she uses her strength and privileges to stand up to the injustices young woo faces, as revealed in later episodes. Finally, the post points out that when young woo came to the office building for the first time and when she had to go out to investigate her first case, Lee Jun ho was the only one who helped her with the door both times but he didn't just hold the door for her and let her pass. Instead, he walked through the door with her side by side and even gave her a technique on how to pass the door. Yomu's business card. Fans are surely quick to spot on even the tiniest details and would start talking about it on social media and forums, and just like the revolving door, fans were fast enough to notice what's in Yomu's business card. In episode 5, Yomu hands her business card to a client, but he leaves it on the table. In a close-up shot of the card, the last four digits of Yomu's contact number are seen to be 5252. According to some online theories, this 5252 has a special meaning. 5252 seems to be a reference to the 52 hertz whale, which is supposedly the loneliest whale in the world. While normal whales emit frequencies between 15 to 25 hertz, the usual frequency of the 52 hertz whale is, well, 52 hertz. This makes it unable to communicate with other whales. Given that Yongu's interest with whales is canonical, it's likely not a coincidence. Whales provide a lot of solace for Uyongu, who, as as an autistic lawyer, battles through society to live and work like everyone else. It wouldn't be unreasonable to presume that she would connect with the 52 Hertz whale's loneliness and its inability to communicate with or be understood by the same species. Though it's still just a theory made by fans, viewers are pleased by the show's attention to even the smallest details in order to show Woo Young Woo as a fully well-rounded character. The Light Projector Despite being filmed, some scenes don't really end up being aired. Unfortunately, a deleted scene resurfaced and it turned out to be a really great moment which fans were disappointed that it didn't make the cut. In the first few episodes, even though Junho and Yongu aren't dating yet, Junho has already continuously expressed his love for Yongu using all the different kinds of love languages. In fact, she receives two gifts from him. In the fourth episode, Junho surprised Yongu by showing her a huge painting of a whale, knowing just how much she loves this animal. But before that, in episode three, he already bought Yongu a small gift and it was a light projector. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to give it to her personally Personally, since she wasn't around when he stopped by at her office, since she was busy printing out her resignation letter after the difficult case she handled. She defended a man who also has autism spectrum disorder who was falsely accused of hurting his older brother, but in reality, he was only trying to save him from hurting himself. The following episode started by showing Jun Ho stopping by her office again, not even knowing that she already resigned, so he decided to leave his gift on her desk. When Yongu returned in the later part of episode 4 to help defend Rami's father, who was taken advantage of by his older brothers, Jun Ho excitedly welcomed her and said he missed having lunch with her. He then asked her if she had opened the gift he left for her. But it turns out Yongu had thrown it away because she didn't know who it was from because Jun Ho didn't even leave a note saying that the gift was from him. Despite the disappointment, Jun Ho's response was really sweet and he didn't even get mad. By episode 5, Yongu compromised her convictions in a copyright battle between two ATM companies, Ihua and Gungang. So in the end, she vowed to never do it again and threw away the painting that the original client, Ihua, had given her and instead put up the letter from Gungang. Now here's the deleted scene. It turns out that Yongu didn't throw away Junho's gift. Yongu opened the box to discover a light projector. She turned it on and it transformed her office to look like she was underwater. This wholesome scene has gone viral on Twitter and even reached over a million views. Although the editor had a good reason for not airing this scene as it would downplay the importance of the letter, the truth is is that this scene also is quite important to the developing relationship 
relationship between Junho and Youngwoo. One fan even pointed out that this moment would help explain why Youngwoo becomes even more curious about him. The light projector was truly a thoughtful gift, but how would the drama possibly turn out if the editors decided to air that scene? Ungenuine product. This might be just a minor mistake, but people started speculating that the computer Youngwoo is using at her Hanbara office might not be genuine. A post titled, Why is a big law firm like Hanbara so poor? was posted on the Korean online community Dog Drip. The post contains some in-drama captions of extraordinary attorney Woo and a screenshot conversation of two people talking about the scene. According to the chat, one person pointed out a funny scene and attached a screenshot of Youngwoo staring at her computer monitor in the Hanbara office in the drama. The person stated, Woo doesn't use Windows genuine products. Is it okay not to use genuine products? If you're a Windows user, you're probably familiar with those tiny reminders in the lower right corner. It's usually a warning the software gives when the Windows license has already expired. It usually appears as activate Windows in the upper part and below would be go to settings to activate Windows. And FYI, violation of software copyrights can be punished by imprisonment for up to five years or a fine of up to $37,000 under Article 141 of the Copyright Act. So if you're a Windows user and also have the same reminder like Woo Young Woo has, it's probably time to activate your Windows license again. Users who saw the post responded in various ways saying, even if you have a license, it will still appear like that if you don't access the license server. And they should at least give the legal professionals the certified version. The person who pointed this out might really have an eagle eye to catch this tiny mistake on the drama. The aha moment. One of the key moments in each episode of the drama is when Woo Young Woo would experience a breakthrough revelation about the cases she's working on. Her aha moment is represented the same way each time with an up close shot of her face as her hair whips in the wind, then the scene shows a clip of Marie marine animal swimming in the ocean. You may have also noticed the same catchy song playing in the background every time this happens. The song truly intensifies the tension as we all wait to see what Woo Young Woo has discovered. It turns out that the theme song for Woo Young Woo's aha scenes was made entirely a cappella. The talented group behind the song is the Korean a cappella group Maytree. You've probably seen the talented group before because they've gained millions of views and followers on TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. The five member group is known for their uncanny ability to replicate almost any sound with almost inhuman accuracy. After Maytree disclosed that they were the ones behind the song on their YouTube channel, their involvement in creating the Extraordinary Attorney Woo theme song became a hot topic on the Korean online forum The Coup. People were amazed that the whole song was purely a cappella and started giving more praise to the group. The group recently auditioned on the popular American competition show America's Got Talent and even passed on their audition. The group also earned praise from the notoriously critical judge Simon Cowell for their clever performance. Which of these details did you miss while watching? And what are you looking forward to for the upcoming season of Extraordinary Attorney Ooh? Let us know in the comments. Hope you guys liked the video and see you next time. Bye!